All right, thank you for staying with Daybreak. Let's talk about lessons to in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. So these lessons we're talking about are actual classroom lessons. Many parents are struggling with their students at home and the pupils there, you don't know what to do. So let's find out from Mohamed Sabul. Mohamed Sabul is an education expert and also a teacher. He's joining me on phone. Mohamed, good morning. Yeah, how are you? Very good, sir. So what are the best alternatives now that we find ourselves in this situation? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic has uh, unprecedented uh, impact on, on our lives. Um, the education system is, is affected, um, I think, by the end of uh, March. Uh, over 123 countries have closed uh, or partially or fully their education uh, systems. It's affected over um, 1.5 billion learners um, uh, in the world. So it, it, it's a global uh, uh, issue. Now, the challenge is that um, after um, the schools have closed, uh, the challenge is how to keep uh, learning uh, on going. And uh, that this, um, there are technological uh, solutions or platforms and I must say uh, in, in our content, uh, continent Africa um, it's, it's at infancy um, it's not very use of uh, uh, education uh, technology um, it, it's not very developed but, but, but it's an option um, that, that, that we have that we could uh, explore when you talk about technological platforms, are, are you speaking about teachers interacting with students through applications on laptops? But what happens to the people who can't access that at all? Uh, now, uh, with this uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic, um, uh, we will um, uh, recommend um, a kind of a four um, technological uh, uh, solutions. Uh, and depending on um, the social economic uh, uh, situation, we see which which works uh, best. As you are aware, um, and I think top on this list um, is the use of what we call uh, broadcast. And, and in this trend, um, we're talking about uh, the use of um, radio. Uh, KCD has uh, been um, fronting this. Uh, it's currently. Uh, in, in news, uh, radio is the quickest uh, option, um, and in, in the case of, of Kenya, uh, we have the option of uh, both, you know, state and, and a private uh, radio station that will be used uh, to disseminate uh, the content. And then, uh, still in the category of, of broadcast, um, we have um, a use of television, uh, Kenya Institute of uh, curriculum uh, development. They have this Edu uh, TV. Uh, the outreach uh, is, is, is quite, it's quite, it's quite good. But going to very uh, marginalized uh, uh, locations, um, radios um, will be the most um, recommended option. Uh, of course, they are constrained, uh, like. Uh, uh, you know, source of energy. And, and in this case, if you look at um, a kind of a solar powered radius. But Mr. Mohammed, doesn't this then bring in the issue of inequalities? Because how then do you monitor the quality of these particular lessons that you're talking about? Other people are taking it on broadcast, which is radio. Others have this interactive session with their teachers on laptops, such as the one I have. How do you ensure quality across board? Uh, that's a very good uh, question. And you see the, the challenge with this um, uh, pandemic that we have now, we don't know uh, for how long it, it's going to, to, to last. Um, and I think if the situation um, uh, kind of uh, exacerbates, uh, one thing that we will uh, recommend is that even with uh, a radio uh, um, option, uh, we should kind of think about an interactive uh, radio uh, delivery um, approach. Uh, that's one, but the issue of quality will never be the same uh, uh, when uh, you're using an alternative 
delivery uh, approach. And uh, I think one thing that is always important to mention is that even with the use of um, uh, solutions like this, there needs to be an interface uh, between uh, the technology, uh, the teacher, and the child. And I think uh, even with this uh, delivery using radio or using television or using uh, other, you know, tablets, other kind of stuff, uh, you should always have the voice of teacher to, to, to deliver the content. But now, Mohammed, the other thing is, how do you then monitor attendance? How do you even know who listened to what at what point? Uh, that that uh, remains a challenge. Uh, remember, uh, it's not um, a kind of an ordinary uh, situation. It, it's all about, uh, you know, keeping uh, uh, learning uh, on, ongoing. Um, but again, here, uh, the role of, 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 of parents is quite uh, important in when it comes to distance learning and where there are no teachers. Uh, we will rely a lot on, on the parents, but also on the siblings uh, to support uh, children to, to, to learn. So at this point, you want the parents to take the role of teacher. Should they sort of have a timetable like the ones in classroom where they monitor their children to up to a certain point, allow them a break, then allow them a lunch break? What, 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 is the, what are the rules of engagement in these new COVID-19 times? Uh, and I think, uh, you know, KICD, uh, Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, for their um, uh, broadcast uh, stations, uh, they have uh, issued uh, a timetable. Uh, even for, for children uh, who attend school, um, we're now in touch uh, with uh, the teachers. Um, and uh, with this, we usually get um, the timetable, the schedule of, of lessons. Uh, I think that is quite important. And uh, once uh, the timetable or the schedule is, is communicated, it's quite important that parents uh, take an important role in ensuring that uh, the children uh, follow these uh, schedules. It's not quite easy because the parents are juggling with the issue of, um, uh, you know, working from home um, and so on and so forth. It's, it's not the best situation, but, uh, but in this situation, uh, the teachers and parents have to work uh, hand in hand to ensure that children learn. Mohammed, do you see do you see a possibility of students being forced to repeat classes once we get out of this COVID nineteen struggle? Uh, I think uh, rep reputation uh, is, is, is something that the the government uh, doesn't uh, encourage. And remember, I say uh, uh, this is a global uh, issue. Uh, for sure, if the situation continues like this, uh, it will have uh, an impact on um, you know, the school term, um, the academic uh, calendar. And I think this is something for the education stakeholders to, to come together uh, to, to, to discuss. Um, but I think at the, at the moment, um, uh, the focus should be ensuring that the learning uh, goes on. Uh, the schools um, try to share um, uh, the content using an appropriate uh, a medium. Uh, and then parents uh, for uh, the learning process. All right. Thanks, Mohammed. That's